In a statement, the ICJ said it is extremely concerned in particular by Clause 41A of the bill, which, if adopted in its current formulation, would introduce the death penalty for the terrorism offence of murder. ICJ's senior legal adviser Livio Zili said, quote, purported threats to national security, whether or not arising in connection with acts of terrorism, should not be used as a justification for the death penalty, end quote. The statement noted that the bill does not feature certain improvements on the PTA. However, the ICJ considers that the bill's other problematic aspects clearly outweigh the positives. In addition, the ICJ expressed particular concern over the overbroad and vague definition in Clause 3 of acts of terrorism that can be interpreted in a manner that stifles dissent and to crush peaceful protests. It also points out that Clause 16 identifies disobeying any direction issued under the Act as a terrorist offence. This creates a fresh category of offences likely to be misused by the present government and future administrations against any kind of opposition. Zili added, quote, If enacted as currently formulated, these vague and overbroad offences, similar to and building up on those contained in the PTA, are open to abuse and such they violate Sri Lanka's international legal obligations and the country's own constitutional guarantees under Article 13. Highlighting that the ICJ has constantly called for the repeal of the Prevention of Terrorism Act, the ICJ renewed its call on Sri Lanka to repeal the PTA and immediately halt attempts to replace it with an even worse piece of legislation.